The humble ceiling fan has been around for longer than we can imagine. Some say they originated in West Asia in the 6th century BC. Others date them back to the Roman Empire. Though they did not resemble the ones we use today, conceptually and functionally, they were not very different. A fan called Punka is well documented from the early 17th century in India. A luxury only for the kings and wealthy, this fan-like device was made from palm leaves or cloth and hung from the ceiling. They moved manually when a servant pulled a cord, turning the palms or cloth. Punkas became very popular among British officers, struggling with India's hot and humid climate. Unlike a rotating fan, punkas created a gentle breeze rather than an airflow. Around 1860, the first ceiling fan was installed in the United States. It did not yet run off electricity, but rather utilized a belt system and water, or steam, energy. Due to being belt-driven, a network of fans could be installed throughout a large building, making them popular in offices, department stores, and even restaurants. Typically, the wealthy were able to install these massive units to help keep their employees comfortable and productive. Before I continue to the history of ceiling fans, if you are new to Inventions Flex, please subscribe below and turn on the notification so that you will be the first to know when we post new videos on ancient and modern tech inventions. Haven't said that, let's dive back in. In 1887, a man named Philip Deal, who worked for the Singer Sewing Machine Company, invented an electric ceiling-mounted fan using a sewing machine motor that was invented earlier by Schuyler Scotts Wheeler in 1882. Later, he added a light component, making it a multifunctional investment. A German immigrant, Deal surely didn't realize the magnitude of his invention. Shortly after Deal's company went into production, a few other companies popped up to bring in some friendly ceiling fan competition. Some of these guys included Emerson Electric Co. and Hunter Fan Co., among others. During their popular years between the early 1900s to the 1920s, ceiling fans were first seen in many commercial areas like stores, restaurants, and offices. In 1910, companies began marketing them for household use, but the majority of the buyers were affluent. It wasn't until the 1920s that the ceiling fan became a staple in the home, the advent of the air conditioner temporarily halted the popularity of the ceiling fan in the U.S. around 1950. Now room temperatures could be dramatically reduced rather than just by a couple of degrees. But still, they were not cost-effective for all, and the ceiling fan remained an affordable option for most families. So much so that the design of the ceiling fan continued to change. With the addition of more fan blades, energy-efficient technology, and aerodynamic sciences, ceiling fans' sales continued to rise worldwide and eventually again in the U.S. in the late 20th century. Modern ceiling fans have improved tremendously compared to their predecessors with advanced motors, and the number of fan blades increased. Designs have changed as well, becoming more and more modern by the day. People today are still in love with ceiling fans as they did when they first came onto the market. Ceiling fans will most likely never go out of style mainly because of their affordability compared to air conditioners. Now you know the history of ceiling fans. Do like, share, and subscribe for more historic inventions. See you in the next video.